Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on the ultra 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 hardest difficulty that has ever been inv invented for XCOM 2. It's time to do another uh, small mission to destroy this alien relay and uh, secure another ranger for us. It's going to be a good shootout and we brought a fresh team into that. I put whoever still needs levels, in this case Bastard and Axe, together with uh, some of the uh, people that we haven't seen so far. We haven't had uh, the chance to actually play a lot uh, with a Psy Operative and now that Ruru is finally completely leveled up, might as well use him. Uh, we have had such a long time without Psy Operatives, uh, also gave him a new gun. Wilson II is making a return together with Inquisitor and Dranks for good measure. So it's going to be fun, specifically since there are quite a few enemies here. No Ranger in this mission, instead we are using a Skirmisher, so a bit of a different uh, team composition. Let's jump into it and kick it off. Good, we landed. Let's see. Got a data tab there which we need to neutralize and it's pretty much the same map that we played on uh, with the marauders a very similar setting we are currently hidden so that's all good uh, the question is how do we want to approach that um, I think our fastest unit inquisitor Should be the one who is scouting for us. I move. And he's doing exactly that. Haven't yet seen any enemy, which is good. Go to cover. X goes into full cover. Getting it done. Moving. Roger that. Roro moves. Uh, bastard. Takes a position back here and our sniper Wilson moves to there. Good. So far so good. What kind of hacks could we get? But is always the question uh, that we want to know first. Dodge increased for uh, three turns. I like it. And I think by hacking it, I'm almost sure that we're also disabling the turret, which will give us a better chance to. We're good to go. Yep, it's disabled. Very good. That gives us a better chance to approach. Visitor moves up. Something is wrong here. I've never seen a map that empty. Something is very wrong. Yes, Commander. No further enemies. Okay. That is strange, to say the least. Roro is fast as well, and Nullands, by the way, 10 points of damage should almost be enough to move, move, move. kill that target by itself. Alright, finally, I was beginning to worry that something is wrong, and we actually don't have enemies. But we could move to here and then take high ground. I like the idea, we still have plenty of time. And X also moves over. Out. 
Okay. So funny. We could uh, let that explode. Hmm. Couple of good targets for mind control. Look, I think. We have that one extra turn. Well, that's not going to be a problem. Roger that. And having the kill zone will make a huge difference. As you order. Moving. Full cover. Good positions. Hmm, drinks actually could be up here. Full cover here isn't bad either, or we're just opening a few more firing angles. Don't want to cluster up too much, that's dangerous. But next turn we're going to engage. And I do have an idea what we're going to do. It has to do with kill zone and a lot of shenanigans around that. Did the enemy just kill their own data tab? No. Okay, we don't have salvo. But we very much have a kill zone. Um, well, we could move up and do the cool, uh, good old slash redo but I think realistically plasma grenade into explosion would potentially deal more damage almost kill all of them and free up a lot of line of sight issues I like it we're going to do exactly that There we go. <laughs> the kill animations sometimes are just too funny. All right, bring it on. Okay, so here we go. Um, teamwork. Yes, please. Which means up here. We are reloading. We unfortunately don't have a free reload. Oh, that's a bit annoying. No, I want domination. 
The Crusader would be a nice pick. Ooh, Archon Prime. That would be even a better pick. Good, now let's witness the amount of crowd control that we can pull out with just one unit, right? So, Frost pointing into the Crusader. Missed, but we got a backup because, yeah, Stasis is just so good that it really doesn't care who you are or what you want to do. Just need to tap through and take out the Crusader. We'll deal with it next turn. And then. We feel it's time for some more domination. <laughs> this is going to be fun. There is a reason why I rated uh, the Psy Operators is the strongest class in the entire game, even with all of the other shenanigans that are happening. They are just very, 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 very good. Crowd control is not to be underestimated, and they can do it all. I just have a lot going on for them. Bit of aid protocol for our Inquisitor in front. And we're taking high ground, different aiming angles. Going for the Mamba. Very nice. That solves one of our further problems. A useful aid. High ground. And let's kill the Codex. I hate the Codex so much that I would rather stand in the open. Of course, not with hundreds of enemies, but like with one or two enemies. Rather do that instead of uh, dealing with the Codex. Sector pot is coming from behind. Return fire. Oh yeah. Well, lightning reflexes makes that a bit hard. Blazing Pinions. Oh, we can even see the sector pot there. It's 
think it's one of the new sector pods. It has, even for a sector pod level, it has quite a bit of armor. Trying to hit the Crusader, softening it up a little bit, just a little bit. Big fat Void Rift. Yeah, that sounds like something I would love to do. The rift opens. <laughs> Nasty damage. Those who survived will get a rider. There we go. And the other, the mutant should be ruptured as well. Bastard moves up. I think we can simply kill the mutant. Hmm. Well, we need to hit for that. We do not have death from above. Well, that was not too bad. Um, let's... Throw another decoy out there. Our little selected turret. Nope. Come on. 50-50. There you go, that's what I want to see, good boy. Best at overwatches. Handing over actions. And we're just overwatching here. Inquisitor. We need to slowly move up. Ranks uses the vision cover from here and would overwatch in that direction. Can move in deeper next turn. You will regret oh, that's a Praetorian, a Praetorian uh, sector pod. Fifteen armor. Okay. It definitely can make an impact. It's 
a bit stupid to move up there because very soon you're going to take more damage. Interesting combat situation here. Okay, easy peasy. Sentinel takes some damage. Oh shit, that was our own character. Let's finish the Bio Viper. Sentinel continues to get hit. So we need to hit the sector port and we need to shred it. And we need to shred it well. Starting to move into full cover over here. Yeah, that doesn't really make a difference now. try to hack it. Interesting proposition. Okay, I'll go. Going into full cover. Try not to break this. What's the chance? It should have been debuffed by blue screen rounds. Wait. No downside? Let's try that again. I know Jarang said I think uh, enemy protocols uh, once, so he should be a bit better. Guaranteed shutdown um, and elsewise take control. Oh well, that is easy. Okay, cool. Which means they are ultra... Ultra weak against hacking. Cool concept. Good. In the meantime, let's clean up the rest here. Wow, good hit. Good old stun lancer. No Gets a hit. And let's kill him. Very well. And we're just overwatching. Okay, cool. On my way. 
Move up. I thought it was stunned and taken out. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. The description of the Praetorian sector port is wrong. We definitely need to shred it more. And one of our forward turrets had been unfortunately killed. Reloading. Shredding it nicely. Care trigger is exactly what I was hoping for. Your reactive nanogales will not help you. This is on the shield bearer. Removes one of these guys. Not sure if it removes the shield. Would have been cool if it would. The new Psy weapons are hilariously strong. Okay, so moving up with Inquisitor. Moving up with Inquisitor. If we were to move up to here. That would allow us to hit the sector port. Archon moves up really far. Nice. Immediately got the shot off. Uh, can we? Oh, that automatically ended his turn. Well, that, that is not so nice. Can only see one enemy over here. Luckily, it's uh, the sector pod. 
Down to two hit points. And that's a kill. Next turn we can hopefully start getting the device down, which is our actual task, believe it or not. Drengs moves up a little bit closer. Holy, that's a lot of damage. Come on, react, give him give him the ruler reaction. There we go, that's the ruler reaction I was hoping for. weapon is hardcore I must reload. all right one down that ends the timer very good which now also means we can send over combat presence so that Roro, who apparently is like godlike with this weapon, That's right. can establish his dominance, which he, I think, successfully has done, two shotting a very strong psionic character. It's pretty much the definition of asserting dominance. <laughs> Look, this team is not bad either. Don't waste my time. No, instead of doing that, we're deploying a drone. Dranks moves into into a good position. And in terms of shields, let's just give Axe a shield. For no other reasons, uh, reason than we can. But why did you do it? Because I can. And we're overwatching. Rip Archon Prime, who has served us very well. Oh, that would be fun. You know what would be even more fun? Taking high ground. And moving up a bit closer. Oh no! Wrong character. Only the best. On reserves. Damn it. I should be out there hunting. Good. Time to mark. And even hit the uh, the shield bearer. Should have just used demolition. Alright, 
Cool. I think we've neutralized all targets. Yeah. Flawless mission. Oh boy, the Psy operatives are strong now that they've given them actual weapons that start to hurt. They are ultra strong. Like these uh, Viper uh, weapons. Wow. I would like to assure the citizens Very much wow. I... I like the the B or C team composition now as as well. Specifically, I I know what I've missed without a Psy operator is uh, having that dominance, having regular stasis, uh, inspire if needed, bypassing armor on top of it, and just really a few clean kills. That is great. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Very good. Off to the black market. We haven't checked that yet, but we have plenty of intel. Market is open. Yep, we'll take that. Thank you. We'll take that, thank you. Oh, and we got another Colonel Ranger. Okay, cool, yep. Easy. I would say from now on it's really more smooth sailing, like I mentioned. There is there isn't that much that could completely derail the campaign and given that theoretically we can now get a deeper and deeper and deeper roster It's actually relatively speaking easy from uh, here on uh, forward Let's give them speed Always a good one. Advanced repeater, advanced laser sight. Uh, we got genius level, so we're going to work on that. Tail and rounds, and how about how about a bit of survivability? Sounds like a plan. Yep, sounds like a plan. Good, and we got hound dog. Same deal. Very much going with the uh, red color. A little bit of mobility would be good. I tell you what, we have so much left over. Hair trigger. Now we're, we can go with the repeater. Not the best weapon, but an okay one. And... Yeah, I think we're okay with that as well. Got 18 AP to spend. That's enough to get the important abilities. Just in case they are being drafted for the last mission. And I don't mean in the standard team. I mean actually like being drafted when we uh, gate them in. By the way, Death from Above. Wow. And Shredder. Holy, she's actually a really good ranger. <laughs> Not a bad combination.
Hound Dog with his 18 points. As funnily, also, uh, funnily enough, also Death from Above, but we're going with Implacable. <clears throat> Biomed kit is upgraded to nanomed kit. I think we already got that. Runs one additional healing charge. Is that now the biomed kit? I think two of the mods are colliding a bit with one another. So biomed kit charges two, so we're up to five charges. Immunity to poison and Elarium poisoning and grants one additional healing charge does not affect robotic um, enemies okay cool I think we're still down to six healing maybe more not sure but yeah the aliens finally got their Fado Crito part two which brings us to upgrade of our bond because that's what's still missing and the Mesian battle suit for six days so both needs to happen Avenger plotting new and then it is just the one mission in nine days and I think the next one afterwards is straight up water world unless something is happening throughout the next nine days no further shadow projects available. Yet somehow, our troops once again prevail. Work is well underway. I'll ensure that this new project. New objective added. Look at that, guys. We got the access to Waterworld. Based on the latest findings, we have the target site locked in, Commander. Squad-wide individual concealment. Once we control the network, video feed we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing uh, vision yep crit chance and nice squad increased aim and crit chance well a couple of good bonuses there the outcome of this research can only further our advances commander frost caster sniper rifle frost cast sniper rifle has the same design and same damage output and added to plus 15 aim as a tier 3 beam caster weapon also gets the banish ability also grants the banish ability and frostbite shot ability what 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 all right so what are we talking about is this another one of your absolute op weapons i firmly believe the experiment itself was absolutely critical to our future operations by the way, still haven't really seen that uh, module in play, have we? Required should we attempt to pass through. Still, I must admit, I do feel some regret over the damage done to Shen Gremlin. Uh, let's just get it because why not? Okay, so and we're going to try it, uh, try it in hopefully. Uh, that uh, Cult of Jericho mission. So let's see. Uh, take anyone. Inappropriate Murphy. Okay, load out. Where is that hardcore weapon? Frost sniper rifle. Sharpshooter only. Is this going to be like the new uh, the new best thing the dilly g has gotten a dark lance but this thing is better thing okay wait clip size three okay 12 to 14 as opposed to 10 to 12 so it deals more damage let's start there clip size aim 15 doesn't matter he's really good with aim stun chance 20 percent 
Um, banish. Fire set target until rents out of ammunition. Or dies and reveals the Reaper. Uh, yeah. Wait a second. Hmm. No, I was for a second thinking, is that a good weapon for a Reaper? But Reaper already has that ability. Shoots an enemy, dealing frostbite damage and freezing them in place. Um, hollow targets? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, look. It doesn't have an autoloader. But in the last mission, an autoloader is mm, not so important. The question is, does it have one or two action uh, actions to, to trigger it? And the only way to find that out is give it to someone and actually do that. So in the next mission, we're going to use that weapon and find out if it's really worth uh, the try. It looks amazing. Important step forward in our research. Radiation grenade. Radiation releases high doses of radiation. Targets uh, will be irritated, ablate, um, and unnatural flames. Okay. That sounds pretty unhealthy. But we don't have any more slots. We have already all of the equipment that we need. There is the extra battle suit, and there is our bond upgrade. So, let's see. Grell. Hive Queen armor, disrupt the rifle, big fat everything, plus the biomed kit. She's ready to roll. Dilly G. Dark Lens, potentially the, uh, the best uh, version. Going to give him a rift beacon the next time. And that should be good. Okay. It looks like we finally got a shot at breaking Advent's propaganda Oiler. machine once and for all. Mission battle suit. We'll see this thing through to the end. No matter the cost. This is a massive grenade, I totally like it. Viper, shred storm, cannon, everything's good. Like Euler is just a beast. And the Mesian battle suit is a beast as well. Everything's a beast. Good. Sonar. Another Mesian battle suit. Blue screen rounds. Katana. Rashi. Seems like pretty much like a late game build for me. Hawkbite. Absolutely ready to completely lay waste with the Praetorian Nanogeo under armor. So much hit points. He's he's uh, just beyond good. And here we got Shooter. And Shooter is the last guy. Missy Battle Suit, Psy Storm Cannon. Choose project. Yeah, we'll we'll get a couple of cores. That's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is some tough, serious stuff now. The team is well equipped. Holy moly! Good. Just wrecking some of the raiders, and we should be good. Oh. At this point, it's more annoying than helpful. So... The game is offering us another mission. If not... We're going to lose Eastern Europe. And a tower. And Europe, I think, has a good continent bonus. Yeah, the PCS, we can't let that happen. 
Even if I just lose it and then regain it, this is where the tower stands and you need the tower in order to get the bonus, so... Uh, the game forces us to do another mission, I suppose. We're going to do that, and then we're going to... kick the Cult of Jericho out, and then that is uh, pretty much it, because then we're going into the last mission. I might even get some... Uh, some good items out of this one. Anyways, if you are a sucker for the new good items, then click the like button because that is the only way how we get resupplies within uh, within XCOM. That's the steady resupply that XCOM needs in order to do their job. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in a couple of days. Bye bye.